Hi guys, I don't know what's going on with me at the moment. I um, I don't know whether I have a bug or like it's just part of my low. I don't. I honestly don't know. Um, I have been getting hot sweats, really, really hot head, um, headaches, um, feeling of nausea like I have been feeling so nauseous sort of on a daily basis for the last two weeks which just isn't right um and no I'm not pregnant before anybody starts saying that um yeah last night I was I was drinking loads of water because I'm paranoid being on lithium that I'm not drinking enough water I don't want my kidneys to pack in and then you know for me not to be able to take it, that would be awful, um, because it's helping me so much, even though it doesn't look like it right now, it is, um, so I was drinking loads of water last night, and I went to bed, and my stomach was just so hard, and painful, and just full of water, and I just thought, I'm just gonna throw all this back up in a minute, but luckily I didn't, I went off to sleep, um, but yeah, I can't get up till like 12 o'clock in the afternoon, I just feel, my head just feels fuzzy. My husband had a, um, I can't remember what it was called now, like a gastro bug, like sickness and diarrhea. He had that. Um, and I haven't had that. I haven't been sick, but I have like all the other symptoms of like hot sweats and a headache and feeling sick and oh, I just feel so rough I know that I can feel like this sometimes when I'm on a low I think it's just my body is saying to me look you need to rest stop pushing yourself stop trying to do things you need to rest and I think that's the hardest part for me is to not do anything and to say you know what I am just gonna rest that's the hardest thing for me. And it's hard for me because I have animals that live outdoors, that are in a field that need to be driven to twice a day and fed and looked after and make sure they're safe and happy. So whenever I rest, I have to ask my mum to go and do them for me. And then I feel like I'm putting extra work on her when she's already busy. So it's difficult. It's almost like having children um, in a sense. I've got furry children and um, they require just as much care and they cost just as much money um, so yeah I'm really struggling at the moment I know the full moon really affected a lot of people it affected me quite badly um, my anger feels like it's gone now I do feel a bit calmer although I just feel fed up and can't be bothered, like I feel like a, a teenager, I can't be bothered to do that, screw that, you know, stuff that I'm not doing it, um, I, that's what I feel like at the moment, like I'm not doing that, can't be bothered, so yeah, um, a few of you people have been so, so fucking nice to me, um, and said that they'd rather see me in a video, whether I am down or low or going through some shit, rather than not seeing me at all. Um, and it was just, you're just so kind, and I just, I really wish I could just meet you guys and give you a hug and say thank you. Um, because when I read your comments, it just makes my day, it just makes me so happy, it makes me feel like I'm not crazy, I'm not alone. And that, you know, we all go through this shit and how I'm feeling now is probably how a lot of other people are feeling and not to worry about it. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for your support. It really does mean a lot. Um, once I'm feeling better, I'll be able to get back to shooting normal videos that I, you know, want, want to do and talk about. Um, just at the moment, I just haven't got the energy and I just can't be bothered to talk about what I want to talk about. So I'd rather just wait and, you know, just hold out for a while and then f do that when I'm in a good mood because then it would be a so much better video and it would be so much nicer vibe and you'll enjoy it more and stuff like that. So, 
yeah, if any of you guys have any questions, I suppose I could always do like a Q&A like I did before. That was quite fun. Um, if you've got any questions about anything, like it doesn't have to be mental health. It could be like getting to know me. Um, if you want to know anything about my life, what I do, what I believe in, you know, anything, what kind of music I listen to, what I like to do in my spare time, like, could be anything. Um, or if you want to ask mental health related stuff, then go ahead. If you want to ask about my experiences on anything, go ahead. Um, yeah, if I have enough questions, then I'll do one. But um, I need at least like 10 questions, really. Um, otherwise it's not worth doing it really um, yeah so that's my update guys I have used um, my forehead stick I don't know if you can get this in America or overseas anywhere else but in um, England we have um, these forehead sticks and they've got like it's been basically like menthol or whatever in it and it's like cools your head because it's obviously well the menthol cools your head and um, it does actually get rid of headaches, providing they're not too bad. I've been using that. I've got it on my head now. Like, you can't really notice it. It's clear. I put it on even on makeup. It doesn't notice. Um, and, like, my head feels all tingly. And it just kind of soothes it a little bit. Um, do any of you suffer from hot flushes? Like, I have suffered from hot flushes ever since the day I withdrawed and cold turkeyed off of um, citalopram, which is an antidepressant, um, ever since then, I have never been the same. I think my hormones are a bit fucked up. And sometimes I feel like I'm going through the menopause, but early. Um, my Yeah, basically just like my head, I get so hot. My body just can't cool down. I feel like I'm burning inside out. It's horrible. I just want to know if anybody else gets that or whether it's like literally me fucked up from withdrawing off those meds because before then I didn't get any of this and now I do. So doctors won't admit to it, but yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go now before I ramble on too long. It's been seven minutes. Okay, guys, um, I hope you're all well. Comment down below. I love hearing from you and um, I'll try and reply to some comments. Um, yeah. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye.